I coach a lot of professionals throughout various stages of their career, and the number one thing that I'm talking to them about is the use of AI. You can use ChatGPT to take your current resume and make it better. You literally just copy and paste it into ChatGPT and tell it what you want it to address. If you want to cater your resume to a specific company or to a specific job listing, you can put that into ChatGPT and it will rework your resume for you. You have to read the whole thing and make sure that it's accurate and that it's true and all of that. It's not just going to give you something that is completely ready to go. If you've ever struggled with email communication or you're getting pissed off because someone's fighting with you in email, you can actually ask ChatGPT to help. Now, me personally, I would not put an entire email chain into ChatGPT and say, what the hell do I do? But what I would say is, hey, I want to respond to a colleague and say these things professionally. And within seconds, it will give you a professional response. That's usually pretty perfect and HR friendly. If you want to learn a new skill, you can use AI. Now, you're not going to get certifications from AI, at least that I know of right now, but you can say, hey, how do I make a pie? How do I change a tire? How do I conduct an exit interview? How do I ask for a raise? You can ask these questions and it will tell you exactly how to do it. So no, you're not going to get a degree or certifications, but you'll learn a new skill for free and relatively quickly using ChatGPT. If you are new to the social media game and you need to improve your LinkedIn, you need to make an Instagram for your small business, you can ask ChatGPT to create video scripts, to create ideas. You can ask for interview questions if you're doing a podcast. You can ask for social media posts. You don't have to try to figure out how to be clever or what hashtags to use or any of that. It already exists for you online for free. Again, if you want it to be your voice, you do need to change it a little bit and you do need to tweak it to make sure that the voice that's online is the voice that you actually want to have online. Do you have a presentation coming up? Do you have a speech to give? Do you have PowerPoint slides that you need to make? You can put your topic into ChatGPT and say, hey, I have an hour long PowerPoint presentation on this topic. I need to hit these bullet points, make a presentation for me and it will do it. It's not going to give you all of the things that you need to say. So there is some work that you need to do to make something like that happen, but it'll give you the Cliff's Notes version of what you're trying to do. Please understand that AI is not a substitute for human interaction or doctors, medical professionals, therapists, any of that. It can help you build your confidence. It can help you work smarter. There are some security concerns. Let's be real. It is AI connected to your system, talking to you, learning about you. So your company might not be comfortable with you logging on to or downloading downloading any of this stuff onto your computer. So if you are thinking about using it, I would recommend that do that on a personal computer as opposed to something at work, just to avoid any potential headache. Be safe about it. It's a website just like any other. There are security issues when it comes to using the internet, no matter what site you're going to. Just be smart. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you find a way to use AI to your advantage because it is free and it is a tool to help you grow. If you want to see the stuff that I do for my personal mental health and me putting into practice the tips and advice that I give you. Those are always going to be in the short videos, which are less than a minute long on this exact same channel. I'll see you again next week.